Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Jessica. I am the president of the Scarborough Campus Students Union. So this video will be an opportunity for us to let you folks know about the lobby document that we uh, put forward to the university. There were a series of seven lobby asks that we presented to the upper executive. And so I'll spend the length of this video going through the lobby asks and talking to you folks about some of the responses that we received. The first lobby ask uh, was around the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. So recognizing the importance of standing in solidarity with Indigenous communities, what we've recommended is that the university incorporate indigeneity into all areas of the academic uh, departments across UTSC. So that means inc incorporating uh, literature, incorporating different um, history, uh, all the his true histories um, of the colonial legacies across Turtle Island and having conversations about indigeneity across, um, across our academia. And the second recommendation was that the university invest in more um, in hiring more Indigenous staff positions as well as uh, faculty members at UTSC. Um, and the, what they responded in saying was that there was an Aboriginal curriculum group that was struck. Uh, so faculty members across different uh, departments, particularly in the social science department, are working together um, to start to have conversations about how to uh, begin to incorporate or continue to incorporate and embed indigeneity into their curriculum. And the second response around hirings was that the university has actually committed to creating an indigenous community engagement coordinator position, which is really exciting to hear. The second uh, lobby ask was around a mandatory equity training for university staff as well as faculty members, recognizing that the Black Liberation Collective has um, also asked that the university commit to doing so. There was actually a response to that, um, to that demand. Um, that the university announced around the same time that we presented this lobby document. So we spent some time recommending that the university actually commit to including faculty within the mandatory hiring, mandatory trainings because right now what they're only committing to is that frontline staff be trained in uh, this equity training. So the university didn't really have much to say about that, but we'll be continuing to lobby the provost office to ensure that faculty members are also um, made to uh, have the equity training administered to them as well. The next lobby ask was around student space. So recognizing that students do have really great insight on what is needed in the development of all of these new buildings around campus, uh, we've recommended that SESU be represented in the space allocation committee and on building committees to ensure that students' concerns are addressed. And we've also asked that SESU be kept, kept up to date with the development plans through uh, student consultations. And the university actually commit to working with us to develop, develop um, developmental standard plan. So essentially what that means is hopefully uh, we can set some really robust um, standards in uh, and put them kind of in stone in saying things like um, it's super necessary and super important that all the development plans include uh, gender inclusive washrooms, for example. Those are some conversations that we're starting to have with the university and that they have commit to working with us to develop. The next ask was around prioritizing student bookings at TPASC. So we recognize that all uh, students at UTSC pay into this service, but we do not have as much access to TPASC as we should. So we have recommended that the university work with us to develop more clear booking procedures for student organizations, including uh, prioritizing student-led uh, programming at TPASC, that they increase student uh, study space in TPASC, and also that there be more student representation at the TPASC board so that we're able to continue to voice those concerns. And what they have committed to doing in response to that lobby ask was that uh, more stu study space will be implemented at the TPAS building and they're going to be working with us in the next like six to 12 months to ensure that that is ruled out. The next lobby ask is around transit concerns. So there have been a lot of exciting development plans. I'm sure you folks have watched the last vlog, um, but there isn't there's a little bit of a gap that still exists for students that are traveling from the north end to UTSC, and there are a lot of um, there's a lot of pushback from students and people at UTSC around 
um, what the 198 has actually done for um, the UTSC community. So recognizing those gaps, we've recommended that the university work with us in lobbying the York Region Transit for a bus stop at UTSC and that uh, the university work with us as well as the Toronto Transit Commission to ensure that the 198 is the frequency is improved and the speed of the, the bus is improved as well and thirdly that they more proactively communicate with us and consult with us um, in addressing transit concerns and improvement um, plans on campus. So they will be working with us, they'll continue to work with us in ensuring that those needs are met and we'll keep you folks up to date with those plans. The next uh, lobby ask was on laptop policies. So laptop bans have been sporadically introduced in different classrooms uh, across UTSC, which really doesn't do anything to encourage uh, more accessible and engaging and non-discriminatory practices in the classroom. Uh, doesn't promote uh, the autonomy for students to decide how they would like to engage with the material. So we've asked that the university implement a laptop best practices policy to balance the need of a distraction-free class, which is obviously something that's important, but also um, as a means to respect the, the ways that students um, engage with material and learn um, in the classroom. And they will be working with SESU to develop this best practices policy. Um, and so we'll continue to work with the Vice Dean undergrad in order for this to be completed by the end of this academic school year and rolled out for 2017, 2018. And the last lobby ask is around an equity breadth requirement. So recognizing the importance of promoting respect and understanding of the different and unique uh, communities and cultures that exist at UTSC and within our community, uh, we recommended that the university explore the implementation of an equity breadth requirement for undergraduates to actually complete their degree and that the university commit to lobbying something called the Ontario University's Council on Quality Assurance to mandate equity breadth requirements requirements across uh, post-secondary institutions across the province. So the response was, um, I guess, a little bit of a bittersweet response, but um, the Vice Dean Academics has actually committed to speaking to the Provost Office to see the fee to talk about the feasibility of implementing this. So that is it for the lobby document. If you have any questions about it, feel free to get in contact with me. Again, my name is Jess and my email address is president at scsu.ca. So thank you for watching this far and I hope you folks have an amazing rest of the summer and see you soon. Take care.